Hi beauties, welcome back. Today, we have our Ips. Oh, that was just my phone, it's fine. It was very loud and scary though, but it's, it's fine, nobody died. All right, back on track. Uh, today we're doing Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus. If you're new here, welcome. We're so glad you're here. Do you feel safe? I'm trying to make you feel safe, but it's probably just creeping you out. Anyway, welcome if you are new. So Ipsy versus Ipsy is where I take um, my Ipsy and my mother's Ipsy. We both have the standard and the plus. I unbox the two together, uh, the two pluses, and then in a separate video, I do the two standards together. I pick out which of the two bags is my favorite, mine or my mom's, and then I pick out my five favorite products from the 10 that we received. So of course, now that plus is different, there's no surprise. I used to not like, I used to pick my uh, customization option, but not like really check what my email said, like, you know, I was getting. Obviously that's done. Now I know everything that I'm getting, but I'm gonna be honest, I totally forgot. I filmed a video about the customization process and it's, it's out of my head. I don't remember. But I know my mom bought quite a few add-ons and she actually, uh, she she got two Ipsy bags. She got a bag and a box. Like hers came in a box this time. And she went through them to try and figure out what it was. And she actually took out her add-ons. So normally I talk about those as well. They're gone. So we're just gonna talk about the bags today. And I didn't do any add-ons. Um, I've decided that the boxy pop-up, even though they take forever to send out, uh, I like them better. So I normally don't do Ipsy add-ons unless it's something really, really good. I always start with moms. I don't know why I just do. So here we are starting with moms. I almost dropped that too. It's fine. We're Today is chaotic, but it's, you know, that's my whole vibe. So we're gonna just muscle through. I remember, I don't remember, like I said, exactly what my choices were and what I wound up going with. I know I didn't get a palette for the first time since Plus has changed, um, which I wasn't thrilled about, but I don't hate my products. Um, it just wasn't the strongest month in my opinion. So jumping in first, um, the bag is actually really cute. Um, online, it did not uh, really look that appealing in my opinion, but it's that kind of like, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a, almost like a Sherpa, but like a very soft, silky kind. I like it. It's very, it's very cute actually in person. I like it a lot, so. Uh, and inside the first thing mom has is this R Plus Co Centerpiece All-in-One Elixir Spray. It is a hairspray. It is supposed to detangle. It is supposed to uh, defrizz. It's supposed to basically just give you like a nice healthy finish to your hair. And it is gluten-free, vegan. It offers UV protection, which I really like. I know I was given this as an option as well and I almost chose it, but I believe I went with a skincare product or something instead of it. Really nice size, obviously it's full size. I think I've used r &Co before, but I'm not positive. But I like it, I like that product a lot. The next thing she has, and I know this is something that they chose for her. This is the Fireside Eyeshadow Palette by IBY Beauty. Um, it was really pretty looking and it is an Ipsy exclusive. Oh yeah. Very nice, uh, very neutral palette, but you do have this wonderful green pop in there. And I like that a lot for the Christmas uh, season. I really like green eyeshadows um, and I, I, Every time I wear them, I'm always like, damn, that looks really good, but I don't wear them very often. I don't think my mom's gonna really care much about that shade. I think that would be something that I would like more. Um, but I think the rest of the palette, she's really going to um, to be able to use pretty nicely. So cute little palette. I know it wasn't a super high like price frame. I think it was only like a $16 palette, but I still really, really like it. And it actually is very like nice in terms of the quality of it, the feel of it. I know she chose this. This is the KMS uh, Meta Cosmetics Ace Vitamin Day and Night Cream. This, I, I don't remember. And of course, you know, you see the prices when you do the, ch the choice now, instead of getting like the sheet that has the prices in it. This I'm sure has a high price tag. I've received two of the KMS, or the KMS, the QMS lip treatments to help with like protect against like wrinkles around your mouth. And those are like, I love it actually. For somebody who doesn't really have lip lines, I really actually uh, can see a difference, which is shocking. I really like it, but I know those things are like, they're like $150 a piece. It's like some crazy high or 115 or something. Something crazy uh, high price tag. So I'm sure this has got a nice little, little weighty product uh, price tag along with it. It definitely has that misleading packaging where it's like extra thick, but you can tell like the actual inside of it starts there. But I'm guessing it's probably an ounce. Oh, it's more than an ounce. It's 1.69 fluid ounces. So it's a good amount of product you're getting. It smells really nice. And it's this kind of like thick, almost like butter texture is what it looks like. The way it like popped up, it was in like, 
it look like it's like, I can't believe it's not butter. That's a good product. I know I was not given the choice for that product. Um, and I probably would have chosen it if I had been, cause I, I really, uh, I really do think that that's like a nice little thing to get in the box. Definitely makes it worthwhile in my opinion. The $25 price tag definitely is kind of covered by that. Um, this was the other product that was chosen for her. It is a Wander Beauty Skyliner. We haven't really seen a lot of eyeliners this year and I've been very appreciative of that. Um, so the fact that she got it in one box, it's not great. Neither one of us really are eyeliner people, so we don't really like getting them. But, um, you know, they it, they were sending them almost monthly at one point. So it's nice to see that it hasn't really been that frequent. So not the best product, but also not a terrible one. And then the last thing she has is this Complex Culture Set Go Translucent Powder. I actually discovered, this is really nicely sealed. I don't want to break it, but I'm going to. She's just going to have, I normally don't pop labels on it, but I'm going to do it because I want to see what it looks like. I didn't realize that Complex Culture was uh, Ipsy owned, uh, but they own the brand, um, which explains why we're seeing a lot of the uh, the products popping up in the the choices. And I actually, I didn't know until we posted our video where I did talk about customizing this particular box. And people were like, oh yeah, you're seeing a lot of complex culture stuff because Ipsy owns it. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Um, but I do like the brand. What I've tried from it, I've enjoyed. So I, not a bad thing, it just makes sense to me. So this is in the shade Clarity and it is a nicely packaged, good size. And it actually looks like you kind of have this like little filter coming out so that it doesn't just like pop up everywhere. So I like that. I'm not sure she really is like a setting powder person. She uses a powder face makeup, like she, her foundation, she always uses is powder. So um, like translucent powders, I don't feel like it's something that she really uses, but I still don't think it's a bad product. So overall, I like her box. Um, if I recall, I'm, I actually think I am gonna like mine better because I, I, I wasn't super disappointed with it. Um, I'm a big fan of her palette and I'm a big fan of that uh, QMS face cream. Oh, I like the, the hair, the hair thing is good too. I, I was given the choice of the hair cream and I chose something else over it. So that's why I, I kind of forgot about it. Time for mine. Same bag, super soft, really cute. I do like it. I did. I wasn't thrilled with it online, but I, I in person, it's it works. So the first thing they chose for me, this is the I think it's El Makaj. Is that right or El Makaj? I, I don't know. I, I you guys know I can't pronounce things. Whatever. But it is one of the individual eyeshadows, and I know I got one in the past. I can't. I think my mom got this shade, and I chose like a brown shade. But this is the pretty purple shade. Really nice. You know, I would prefer a palette, I think, over it, but the packaging on this is really beautiful. It is a huge sized eyeshadow. And then you get this cute little like, which doesn't stay closed after you break the seal on it, but I still, like I kept my other one because I just liked it. And I don't know if it says the shade. Oh, this is the shade Alter Ego. Cute little product. They did choose that for me. The other thing they chose for me is the Tula So Polish Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. I love Tula. I have used like several Tula products and I am just such a fan of everything I've tried from them, I love. Um, they're, they're under, like their uh, depuffing eye cream is literally my go-to eye cream. And I have very serious eye bags, so I love it. I'm excited about this. Yeah, yeah, I don't have much else to say about it either. Yeah, I'm very excited to test that out. That was a nice little product. I think they accidentally sent me something extra. <laughs> So I know I, yeah, now I've got six products in here. So this is a wave and curl. It looks like a sample size, but it's a wave and curl rich defining cream to enhance all hair textures. It defines, defrizzes and detangles uh, with, I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce that word, aloe vera and other organic ingredients. So I think that's a bonus. I definitely didn't buy any add-ons because we didn't get charged for any add-ons. So yeah, thank you, Ipsy. Uh, it's very weird. I always am like conflicted on how to feel about that. Cause like, I don't want to steal stuff, but like, thank you. That was a nice Christmas present. I'm very thrown off. By, I'm very confuzzled, but I'm very discombobulated by what just occurred. So yeah, let's let's regain our composure and jump into what I actually um, remember choosing. The first choice I had, I think I went with this. I can't, I can't remember. I think there was an eyeshadow palette maybe that I had to choose between two. I can't remember. This is from Complex Culture and it is a duo. Really pretty, very large pan sizes and very neutral tones. This is definitely, I always talk about, I don't use contour really. I have contour palettes, but I just, 
every time I use them, I feel like they're very dark and it's very hard for me to blend out. And that's, that's fine. I'm not like a contour person. I just am not great at it. But I like to use bronzers a lot of time to just to kind of shape my cheekbones. This is definitely something that I would see myself using pretty regularly. And then this is a really nice peachy color. Um, very standard kind of like little face duo, but nice, still the same. So I believe that was my first choice. And then my second choice, I got another face palette. So I said, I kind of lied because I said I didn't get palettes. I did get palettes, I just didn't get eyeshadow palettes. And that's kind of what I prefer. Um, I, I like to get at least one eyeshadow palette, but I did get palettes, so. And this is the Shayna B Miami Face Quad. It comes with um, two highlighters, a, uh, I would call both of these blushes. This is a little shimmery um, and it's kind of got like a brown tone to it, but I would definitely use that as a blush. Um, but it's really pretty. Once again, good big uh, pan sizes. And once again, not a super pricey palette. I think it's like a $16 palette or something like that. Um, and it is, all of these are things that we have seen in other bags, I believe, except for the Tula. I don't recall seeing that in another bag, but it's not necessarily something that we haven't come across before. And then the final thing I got was the, uh, ooh, the Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow from Ciate London. Uh, if you guys are regulars here and you know me, I love liquid eyeshadows and Ciate London is one of my favorite formulas for it. I have a pink one, I have a white one, and now I have this really gorgeous kind of bronzy, uh, coppery one. So I was actually very excited about that one. If I had to pick a bag all together, I would choose my bag. Um, and then if I had to assemble one from the products that we were given, I would say from my bag, I would probably go with the Complex Culture Duo, my Ciate London eyeshadow, and my Tula face scrub. And then for my mom's bag, I would go with her eyeshadow palette and I would go with her K, uh, her, God, I always wanna say KMS, QMS face cream, that, yes, that. In, in my opinion, just not the strongest way to finish off the year for Ipsy. Um, I do feel like we saw a lot of things that they were, um, putting in other boxes throughout the year, which I mean, we knew that this was kind of what they've been doing. They've been giving you the option to get like other products that you might not have picked up in, in some of the other uh, customization choices, but I still think it's well worth the $25. It is very hard to complain where I feel like, yes, they've changed it to a point now where it's basically you're given five products, you get two of them chosen for you, and then you get like the choice to kind of choose others. And so is it as customized as what they're promoting? In my opinion, it is. I mean, yes, you're you're kind of taking over the control for them. There, it's less legwork on their part. But um, I really feel like this change has been a good change, and I feel like I've been much more satisfied with the bags I've been getting the second half of the year since we've seen this change come than what we were getting at the beginning of the year. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. If you haven't subscribed yet, please join our little dark angel family. We're always doing beauty related stuff, unboxings, tutorials, whatever the hell we feel like. So if you like that, subscribe. Other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.